All right, got some goodies here that I picked up from Midland Radio. And if you saw my other vid where I installed the uh, MXT 115 in my F150, it came with a small um, magnetic antenna. So I'm going to upgrade that antenna situation, make it more of a permanent, but you can remove all this stuff, obviously, mount. What I'm going to do here is I picked up the universal trunk lip mount. Now, obviously, I have a pickup, but it should work. It says it fits most vehicles on hood or trunk. All right, so I'll be able to clamp this on there. It comes with six meters of cable. And then you see I've got two antennas here because I want to be able to go low profile as needed. So first one here, little three decibel gain antenna. Look at that little guy. <laughs> So that will attach, and if I want to remove that one and get something a little bit better, six decibel gain antenna here, and it does have a nice spring action down there, a little whip mount set up at the bottom. So I'll be able to store this one under the rear seat unless I really need to get out a little further, then I can swap them out as needed. Plus, I just want to try the different antennas out. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, hood up, just looking for a good location here. Now, I'm not going to be able to go on the side because of this lip that goes down. However, I got the camera angle on this. The back side is where I'm going to attempt to uh, place it. And that'll actually put it, if I do it right, it'll kind of put it in line with that uh, radio antenna once the hood's down. See what the clamp looks like. It does come with its own Allen wrench, which is nice. All right, make sure the cable will feed down. Looks like no problems there. Before I shut it, go ahead and double check everything. Plenty of space there between the hood and the cowl. And you can see it's fairly even across with the original antenna. Plenty of space. All right, let's see how the six decibel antenna looks on here. Duels. Looks a little beefy there because it's inset compared to that one. Alright, let's see what it looks like with the three decibel. That little guy is pretty cool. They go real good back of a headache rack or something like that. Light bar up top. <laughs> little nubby there. Alright, I'm three and a half miles out on the interstate. How copy? so far a lot of obstructed uh, signal here with the terrain seven and a half miles out out copy copy that so far so good all right ten miles out I'm actually at my <laughs> one of the gun ranges I go to but pretty obstructed view here I switched antenna couldn't hear her with the three decibel but let's try it Kaylee do you copy she's trying I could say again all right really weak uh, I'm gonna start heading back you can go back inside thanks
All right. I don't know if you heard that, but I can barely hear her. Um, she was actually on the front porch of the house. She tried transmitting from with inside the house, which that's a, another obstruction. And I could tell someone was transmitting, but I couldn't hear. Her. So at least there, I could. Full obstruction. Like there's no line of sight to my house 10 miles that way. So the six decibel, definitely a little better. Of course, you get a little more height. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that three decibel for being low profile and and how how well it did up to about seven and a half eight miles is where I last tested it here obstructed at 10 no go but I do get a transmission and reception with the six decibel antenna keep in mind I'm also on the other end of this is just a little handheld Midland um, two and a half watts so if I had another vehicle I was transmitting to with the same setup here, I bet we'd, we'd uh, connect it even better. I actually freaking had the uh, volume down. Because when I switched antennas, I turned the radio off. I don't think that was necessary, but I switched antennas. I didn't turn, when I turned the radio on, I didn't have it all the way up. So, probably could have hurt her even better. I don't know. All right, I'm nine miles out. How copy? All right. All right. I think we'll call that the end of the test. Thank you kindly. WREX542 signing out. Okay. All right. Let's get back from the test and I like it. I dig it. Give you a couple of views what what this looks like mounted up. Not too bad, not too bad. I really like the uh, low profile three decibel. Again, these would be fantastic on a light bar or something like that. Yeah, just a little bit of difference from what came with the radio. Now I can take this one and uh, store it as a backup. I'll store this six decibel. Under the old seat storage compartment. Alright, tucked away, nice.